Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday the 17th. My name, oh, my hair looks awful right here. My name is Ashley and I am a 10th year first grade teacher here in Texas. And today is another week in my life. And what I'm doing right now is first I am getting my Sitsi ready. So, um, and then I just emailed myself the pictures of my sightway card so I can put it into my PowerPoint because I didn't do that. So I didn't have it this weekend when I made my PowerPoint. So yeah, um, just waiting on my email to come in. But today is another week in first grade and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Um, it is the new nine weeks. So we, in our district, we go by nine weeks and we just ended one, we're starting a new one. Grades are due today. So all my grades are put in, except the smelling test that I just got from our phonics teacher. So I gotta put those in. So hopefully I can do that this morning too before they get here. But I was just cutting my wax. Um, I just use a um, stable remover to do it. It works perfectly fine. And this is the scent we're going with this week. It is Scream by Fantasy Wax Melts. It is rich musk pear hint of nuts. So I smell pear. That's pretty much it. So I'll catch you later so I can, I'll catch you up with what we're doing. Let me get this all done and then I will show you what we're doing today. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you our PowerPoint because the kids are about to come. So as usual, I always start with like our agenda of what's going on today and like our little holiday that we got today. Um, I have our three vocabulary words and then it goes into our sight words. So these are the pictures that I had to send to myself um, and put on the PowerPoint because I like to show them the actual cards. This is the book we're reading today. This is the um, anchor chart, the skill that we're working on all week that I will put on our um, anchor chart that I made over there for our books. And then I go into our reading over here. And then this next one I can't show you, it's centers. But I did add to the centers, so now these are the things they can do when they finish early. And then it's clean up. And then it's intervention, and then our next center, sorry, and then it's lunch and recess, our specials. And then we go into our next group and then clean up. And then it goes into recess time, and then we come back and do science after recess. And then it's just go home. They are literally about to walk in my door. Um, I'm gonna quickly get these grades in um, while they are getting their breakfast and getting into the classroom. And then I will show you what's going on later. So, or I'll catch you up during, hopefully during my conference. Oh, good. Okay, we're gonna change <laughs> b et to b ed. B et to bed. To bed. Good. Good job. Okay, y'all did really good on that. So this should have been a D. D. D belly or booty? Booty. Booty. Okay. So now we're gonna change b ed to b ad. B ad. Good. Actually, that's too big. You have but add, add. There you go. Okay, good. Bad to bad. Okay, last one we're gonna do. Bad to mad. Bad to mad. Bad, mad, bad to mad. Mad, bad rhymes. I do bad, rhyme, bad. good. That needs a booty, not a belly. Give it a booty. Good, good, good. Okay, so I need this to say mad. That's bad. How can I change that to make it say mad? 
Not that letter. Put that letter back. <laughs> right now you have bad. I want it to say mad. What does it even mean? I can tell. The rice are sticking to her cat. Oh, God. <laughs> Good. So we should have changed the book to uh, mm. Okay, I told y'all that was the last one. We're gonna- Hey guys, it's during my conference. I was able to show you a little bit of what we were doing and with one of my groups today, we're just working on changing one of the phonemes that's in the word and then they have to write the new word. Um, Sorry, one of my teaching partners came in. So I am posting their grades right now because our grades are due. We're what due by now, noon, so I already put them in. I was just double checking um, that everyone had a grade. I was looking to see who my passing kids were, who my failing kids were, and just checking on that. Now I am prepping for the class that I'm about to get. So I'm just about to get like my PowerPoint already and then do all that fun stuff. So yeah, I was also updating. We got our newsletter in from our principal. So I was kind of just putting in our stuff that we got for November. So I could go ahead and start putting that in. So I'm going to continue working this. And then we're going to make a, um, grades was the only thing I had on my to-do list today. So we're going to finish making our, um, <clears throat> sentence anger chart. We're doing the super sentences from Mrs. Call's campers. So really excited about that. That's what we're going to do. Um, we've already started it. We just need to finish it today. And then that's it. That's all I have for today during my conference that I have planned. And we'll see what else I can get done. Okay. Just got done making this. This is our writing superstar. It's from Mrs. Call's campers. So we, our writing teacher is using this. So I wanted to have it in my room because it's, I put it right beside, this is where they do their writing in the writing center. So I want to have this right here so they could refer to it and I can refer to it if I ever need to, just like our writing teacher does. So got that up. If you think it's different, thumb down. No, no, thumb up if it's the same, thumb down if it's different. Different, different, yep, it's right? different. I can see it's different, it's different. Yep, I was right. Different. 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 Okay, different. the monster different. of the woods, different. okay. Different. Remember, when I Miss Hemphill is reading, we are quiet and at a zero. Listening. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. So while we're reading today, this week we are talking about central idea, and central idea is the most important part of the story. So when we're reading our story, I need you to be thinking about when we're reading our story, I need you to be thinking, what is the most important part of this story? Okay, think about your central idea. Deep in the woods, Owl, Mouse, and Rabbit were having a very important meeting. This is a very important meeting, said Owl. We need to do something about the monster of the woods. I'm scared, cried Rabbit. No one's safe while it's around, squeaked Mouse. So who are my characters? Mouse, Rabbit, the, the mouse, and the owl. And? And the rabbit. And the rabbit. And there's one more character. Mouse. The monster. The monster. Doesn't show it, but it talks about the other character. What to do if the monster of the wood comes calling on a dark, stormy night? First, lock your door. Third, or second, pull the curtain shut. Third, pretend you're not home. Tippity tap. Quick, cried Al, the plan. So they locked the doors, pulled the curtain shut, and pretended they were not home. He said, we're all safe now. Tippity tap tap. Who was that? Nobody's, everybody's there. Uh-huh. It's the monster. No, it's the What? The monster of the woods? Stay calm, shouted Al. Remember my plan. So they locked the door, pulled the curtain shut, and pretended they were not home. The draggled, furry thing stood at the doorstep. Who are you? Everyone gasped. I'm the monster of the woods. What? 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 
crash, bang, crash. The monster leapt into Al's arms. I hate thunder, he whimpered. There, there, Al patted him kindly. We're all safe. It's a porcupine. So was it a monster at all? No. no. Good morning, y'all. So today is Tuesday and we are about to make another palm. So I, above each table, I have a colored palm with an animal and that's what I call each animal. I added a table, so I need to add the animal. So it's gonna be the monkey table. So I am just gonna prep this palm and get it put up. And that's pretty much the plan for this morning. That's all I have to really do before they get here. Everything else is prepped and ready to go. So I'm just gonna work on this and I'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, it is during my conference. I just got done meeting with our um, phonics slash writing teacher. We just planned together um, for the next week. So I am finishing up my part of the lesson plans and then I'm just putting in our vocabulary cards. Um, then I am um, about to find pictures of the books so I can have them and print them because I use them for our anchor chart. And then that's really all I have. Um, actually, let me see what my list says. So I just finished lesson planning. I pulled my books. So we are reading, um, hang on, let me finish these last couple words. And, okay, so we are gonna do How to Catch a Witch. Um, we're gonna do I Am a Good Citizen, because we're still talking about citizenship and stuff, and then we're gonna do Pig the Monster. So those are the books that I'm using for this week. So I'm going to go find pictures of them and, um, get them and then these are our vocabulary cards that go with our HMH so um, I'm going to eventually change to vocabulary from the actual books that I'm reading but for now we're just using these because that's what I've been told to do but I know it'll eventually change because I don't really like the vocabulary words that it gives you in HMH because um, some of it is just way over their head and doesn't make sense so yeah I feel like it needs to be other words so I'm going to pull the books oh and then we're going to do two books out of our my book um and we have a writing portion in here we're going to do as well for next week in our writing center and we have we're going to do Halloween Mad Libs for one of our other centers so <clears throat> I am going to get the pictures of the books and then I will talk to you later okay y'all it is the end of the day. I'm about to go home. I just got done with my after school program. And yeah, today was not a bad day. Much better than yesterday. Mondays are always kind of a an awful day, but much better than yesterday. Um, and yeah, so sorry. I was trying to get the glare off my glasses, but it's not happening. So oh that's better. But yeah, so I'm gonna go home. Kids are about to come, but just wanted to update y'all. So today is we're gonna wear orange. Um, to promote um, the fight against bullying. So I wore my orange little pumpkin earrings and I wore my strut your stuffing shirt because I didn't have anything orange. Honestly, this is the only shirt I had orange for and it's only the words that are orange on it. So wore that today. And today I won't be doing small groups. Like I will be doing small groups, but I won't be doing like their books in small groups because we have PLC this morning. So we lose an hour of our instructional time. So to make up that hour, um, I don't worry about pulling groups today. I just worry about basically getting the content done. And we're probably going to do like a quick little check your comprehension quiz um, type thing. So we will see how this goes. So they're coming down the hallway. I will catch you later. Okay, we got the best news. So we have PLC, like I told you this morning. Um, that's what we're in right now. And instead of meeting and talking about our students and stuff, because we've been doing that for weeks, we get an extra planning time. Sorry, I have a dry answer. Mm. So I am just gathering my books and I was replacing the rubans. These are the books that go in the big closet um, for the lower kids that I have. So I am about to go get new books um, for them. 
And then I need to pick up some D books because my kids have almost read all the D books I have and they're still not ready for E. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, guys, it is my conference. Oh, it's on my face. It's my lunch, apparently. Um, it is during my conference. I am, I just got done filming a video for school. So that was fun. Oh, I need to go turn this in. I'm gonna go turn in my grade verification and then, I don't know. I'll keep you with I need to pull my cards. I need to pull my vocabulary cards and my sight work cards. So I'm probably gonna do that. That was even better. I tried to pull this ring. I need to pull this ring. I need to Hey y'all, good morning. It is Thursday and it is a new day. Um, the kids are about to come. I am just getting stuff prepped and ready. Um, I just printed out my lesson plans for last week. I have a couple pictures that I need to hang that we did. Um, this is the art that we did this week. It was just a guided drawing, so they had to make a turkey. Um, I have to go through and like outline them in, um, Sharpie, and then I'm going to put them on construction paper and hang them in the hallway, and then I will laminate them at the end. Like, once I put them in their file, I'll laminate them. Um, I'm hoping to replace these sunflowers, too, um, with our next art project, because they have been up there for about two months. I was supposed to replace them with bats, but we never got to make bats, so i am still got those, but that's okay. I am just working on checking my email first of all because apparently I never do that so I'm checking my email I just get junk does anyone else just get junk all the time like all my stuff is always junk I, every now and then I'll have something that I need but yeah oh today is the AR party so if they reach yes no you're fine uh okay um, I'm gonna be honest I can't remember the last time I've talked to you. My hair looks like a mess, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, today is Friday. I don't even know if I talked. Did I talk to you at all yesterday? If I didn't, I'm so sorry. But today is Friday. I'm getting stuff done and prepped and ready. It's during my conference. And I'm getting stuff done and prepped and ready to go for Monday. So I am about to do my anchor chart. So these are what we do every week. So I have the topic. I forgot to put that part in so I had to like squeeze it in but that then I have like what that is like the basically the definition the central idea is the most important part and then we read our read alouds and I print out the pictures and I put the pictures on here and I we say what the central idea is and then they go ooh, sorry 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 they go up on the board over here that way we can refer to it all the time so remember when we read the day you begin and the point of view was third person and the person telling the story was narrator that's like that's what we do. So it seems to be helping because I can refer to the book and they remember the book and they're like, oh yeah. So that's been really, I think that's been helping them. So I'm just about to prep my next week books. So going to do that. I did just, fit, I finished my test too, my online test we're going to be doing on Wednesday. So I'm going to get working on this. Okay y'all. So I am at Sonic getting food um, because I'm hungry. I didn't eat a snack today, so I just came to get like a little snack. Um, I just ordered like the soft pretzel twist, so waiting on that. And of course I got me some of those cookie dough bats. So um, I just kind of wanted to like chat about the day. So um, it wasn't too crazy. Like it was, it was a pretty good day. Um, we had our AR party. So every, we, we set a goal for every kid um in first grade and if they reached that goal they got to go to the AR party well we didn't have a lot of kids that were motivated I guess by the what the party was it was a dance party so they got to go and they got to do a dance party 
and I guess the kids just weren't very motivated so I only had two kids that made it total we had eight out of 57 kids 56 56 I think is how many we would have um so we only had eight total but like I only had two kids that even like reached their goal um but they got to go have a little dance party have a snack chill play for about an hour um while we still did class and then we had our recess and then we came back and I was gonna do my science test but I had so many kids I had four kids absent and then I had two kids leave for that party so that was and then I had a kid leave early right yeah so I had seven kids not there and to take the test the science test without those kids there I just didn't feel like I felt like I was gonna have to make a little bit of test up and I didn't want to do that so we're gonna do it Monday and it's gonna be okay next week is red ribbon week so it's dressed up every single day so that's gonna be fun and um, we also sent home disguise a turkey today so that's gonna be fun to start putting those in the hallway um, I started trying to finish up our turkey projects that we were doing um, and I, I showed a little video of the kids doing it when they were uh, painting right painting yes when they were painting so um, that I am outlining it in black like what they drew and then we're gonna back it on uh, construction paper and then I'm gonna put them in the classroom and hang them up in the classroom so I'm gonna take the sunflowers down and put those up instead um yeah but that's basically it I'm gonna laminate the sunflowers too so I'm gonna take those to laminate and our we finally got our big we got a new big luminator sorry I'm looking at my eyes but I mean it was just I'm sorry I know this vlog wasn't very good I'm not very good at vlogging I know I know um hopefully I will get better but I don't know, but I'm going to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you the next time. Bye y'all.